Hello, and thank you for taking a moment to watch this training. On this specific training, I wanna to talk to you about custom phone number fields that you may have created within your Salesforce org. If you're looking at the screen here, you can see I've got Carol White up here, and I have a custom phone number field called direct line. Let's say, for example, in my org, I've created this, this custom phone number field, and I want to be able to call that number when I'm in a dial session. By default, PhoneBurner has no idea that that phone number field even exists within the Salesforce environment. No idea, no clue. And so if you want PhoneBurner to be able to dial that number, PhoneBurner needs to know about it. And it is super easy for you to configure that. So we're gonna go through that right now. The first thing we need to do is within Salesforce, we need to go to the object manager for this specific object. And in this case, I'm in the contacts object, right? So I need to go there. Let's go ahead and edit the object. And I'm gonna to go to my fields and relationships, right? This is where you would go to create that field. If that field exists in your account, it was created in this, uh, this custom fields section, right? So we're gonna come in here and you're gonna see, here's my custom field, direct line. This is the important piece that we need right here. You see this direct underscore line under underscore C. That ID, we're gonna go ahead and copy that. Then I'm gonna jump over to phone burner. From within my phone burner account, I'm gonna click on the menu in the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna go down to the integration settings. From integration settings, I'm gonna go down to Salesforce, click on details. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the phone settings section. And the first section within the phone settings is gonna show you the different mapped phone fields that are currently applied to your account. The default is phone, home phone, other phone, assistant phone, mobile phone, like you see here on the screen. And then if you need to add a new mapping, you'll see this option here where it says new field mapping. I'm gonna paste that custom field ID. Remember that ID right here. I'm gonna paste it in here and then I'm gonna label that with one of these labels. Now, unfortunately right now you cannot give it a custom label. You have to choose one of these existing labels but let's say it's an other phone. So we'll choose other and I'm gonna save it. And that's it. Now let's scroll back down here. You're gonna see it listed with all of the other mapped phone fields and you'll have the option to delete it if you no longer want it being mapped into the dial session window. But now based off of this, if I were to call Carol White, this phone number would be one of the phone numbers that I could call during a dial session. It would just be in line. Now, of course, when it is called, if we jump back over to the Salesforce integration, when that number is called is gonna be based off of whether or not it's the primary number or not. Now, because it is part of the contact object, I can choose that to be the primary number if I would like. All I have to do is just update that. Now, we've already talked about this on a previous video, so that gives you the ultimate flexibility. Any field that you create in Salesforce that is storing phone numbers can be configured as a callable number within the phone burner system. And any phone number that is configured as a callable number within the phone burner system can also be configured as the primary phone number, meaning it can be configured to be called first before any of the other phone numbers. And of course, we are gonna be talking about configuring your disposition. So based off of call outcome, you can determine whether or not you're gonna move on to any additional phone numbers or if you're gonna move on to the next contact. But that's it, that's how easy it is for you to create a custom field in Salesforce that is storing phone data, phone number data, and to make sure that it is a callable number when you're dialing using phone burner. Now make sure you continue to go through this training. There is a lot more information, a lot more that you can learn about this configuration so that you can get the most out of the phone burner integration with Salesforce. Thanks again and happy dialing.